<laughs> hey everyone, it's Kayla, and today we're doing the Game of Thrones tag, and I'm joined by Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey, Sam from Dots on Tones, Jordan from the Jordan Journals, Manny from My Name is Manny Ness, and we have Connor O'Brien doing the questions in the background. So you're like, <laughs> 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 and beware of spoilers in the video up through season seven of the show. So. Number one, how did you discover the series slash books? For me, like, the premiere was coming on, and it was, like, a big deal, even though I didn't know that they were books before, but the HBO, like, premiere was happening, and my friend and I watched it. We, like, watched movies together all the time, and so we watched it together at the whole first season, like, as it was coming out, okay. and then I took a break from it for a while, but I didn't know about it before mm -hmm. that. My sorority was participating in, like, a spring version of Homecoming, and our theme that year was Game of Thrones, and so they were, like, so I listened to different houses, and I was like, I have no idea what's going on. So I watched all of the episodes up until that point, which like season two. So that's how I got into it. I have a blog where we recap television, and a lot of people were coming into the comments to ask if we were going to recap Game of Thrones, and I had no idea what that was. <laughs> and my the, the person who launched the blog with me had already watched the first season or two. It might have been two seasons at that point, and she was like, oh yes, this is something we need to do, and we just kind of like decided it was something we we're gonna do. So it was definitely through the television that I, I discovered it first, and we went back and we've been recapping it ever since. Um, I tried to watch Game of Thrones for a really long time, and I just couldn't get into it, and then finally I just got into it in like March where I binge watched the whole thing. So season seven was the first one I was like watching week by week. Um, I got into it because we had HBO for free for 90 days when the first season was happening and I was like, what is this? And then I talked to my dad who loves fantasy and we started watching the show together and at the end of this, at the end of the first season I started reading the books and was done by the season two. So it was game over at that point. <laughs> yeah. You know how like before you discovered booktube and you always had to like figure out how you were going to read or find new books. I used to go on Barnes and Noble and like look through all the upcoming mm -hmm. books that were coming out and apparently yeah. Barnes and Noble came out with like a special edition of the first book oh, really? and that's where I saw it and I was like whoa that's a really cool book and I like <laughs> ended up getting it before I even knew that so many wow. people loved it and there was a TV show that was like, gonna come out. Mm -hmm. I got yeah. a long time ago. Yeah, I'm not sure how popular it was like before the show came out. Like maybe it had like a cool I think following. it probably still had its like fantasy. Yeah. I, I think so. It was like yeah. the 10th anniversary edition or something like uh, that. I was like, whoa, that's really cool. Way, like, and now it's like really expensive. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, who is your all time favorite character? Oh God. I got a, a ready like answer. Like one? Yeah. One. Wow. I got a super ready answer. I have Sansa a super, start. I was going to say Sansa 100%. too. 100%. Yeah. And like I've loved her since like day one. Really? And I know Ugh. that's like, yes, like that reaction. I'm always like, <laughs> it's just that Even you. <laughs> she's like a, like a teenage girl mm -hmm. in the first season and she's acting like a teenage girl. And I think that's what annoys people, but that's how teenage girls sometimes act and you can't hate on her for just acting like a teen a teen mm -hmm. i think it was almost the opposite for me because i really was annoyed by her at the very beginning so in seeing her arc mm -hmm. and how and like looking back at to who she was and how that informs her arc and how she's still very much sansa she's yeah. still the sansa we met who's very much a lady and you know like kind of embodies all of these very traditionally feminine qualities but has grown up and made it her own so yeah. seeing that entire arc endears me to her so incredibly much and even more so because at, be at the beginning I wasn't sold on her so um, now it's kind of like ooh, I was wrong I love yeah. her I like, <laughs> See, she kind of reminds me of Dawn from Buffy yes like she's just a teen girl yeah, 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 and like yeah. people hate on that so hard mm -hmm. and I just like don't like that so that's why I like champion behind them more I think I liked her more because people hated her that's how I was when mm -hmm. I heard that people hated Sansa I was like well I'm gonna love her more aggressively then <laughs> so I think that I love her overall art but I think as far as like a character that I've never hated it would be Marjorie like yeah. I love Marjorie from the yeah. beginning like I didn't have to warm up to her I didn't yeah. have like any kind of like instantly I saw her and I was like okay well I love you so I have a very cliche answer and Danny has always been my favorite character <laughs> 
I just love her. And I don't really have like a specific reason. I love that she has dragons. I love that she's strong and powerful and that she's like this conqueror queen. And like she always has good intentions for what she's doing. It might not come off. The might not be executed the best way, but I feel like she always has good intentions. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. I just I really love her. Plus she has dragons, and I really wish I had dragons. I mean that's like a big factor. She has dragons. <laughs> yeah, she has dragons. I was gonna say Tyrion, but because I read the books, I just love Jamie's arc so much. Like you go from hating him so much to loving him so much because he finally just grows and his road trip with Brienne and just everything. And like they don't portray that well on the show at all. So, like, people who just watch the show won't understand, like, where I'm coming from. But, like, I just think he's, like, one of the most, like, I don't know, well-developed characters of the series. And as far as side characters, definitely over and Martell. And I just mm -hmm. wish he would have yeah. been, like, there just a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. Number three, who's your favorite side character? Mm. Sorry, I don't know. Daddy Jorah. <laughs> 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 That's like my knee gut reaction, but I did like Oberyn. I would say yeah. Oberyn is Oberyn. my favorite. Yeah. Mine's like a toss up between Oberyn, Dario, and Elena. I like Elena. Oh, Elena. 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 Because Elena is amazing. Yes. I think Elena is my overall yeah. favorite side character. The way she went out, man. Is she just, just like, like, who's a side character? The fact that I also she really like always Russia. thought ahead of everybody else. And like, she schemed her way to the top. And she moment. used like her intellect and not just like, I'm going to kill everybody right. to get what she wanted. And this is just so smart. Yeah. yeah. Her I close for me between Elena and Davos. <laughs> and I, I, know, I was going to say, but like, Davos feels like a main character now. Like, he's become. Sure. Who's a main character? Who's a side? I feel like Silas is still a side, a side character. character, but he's like yeah. he's like a major side character. Yeah, that's, that's true. true. He's like hand of the mm -hmm. king. I feel like to John. That is yeah. true. It's getting to that yeah. session. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I, yeah, I feel like his plot better. armor is not as strong. Like I still feel like he could die. I like, don't very, say that to very me. easily. I, I love Rianne. I feel like she's still a side <sighs> character. Way, yes. but like, they're so, but like they're so honorable. Feel so like it's just a smaller. Group I feel like everyone is like hard. yeah. We're down to like the bare minimum. Yeah. <laughs> is the Hound considered a side? Yeah. 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 I, I like him too. Yeah, he's come a long so way. way. Mm -hmm. We just like them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, if you could magically resurrect a character by sacrificing another character, Ooh. who would you oh, sacrifice, no. and who would you bring back? Damn. I would bring back Overwind and sacrifice the mountain. Mm. Mm. Okay. I would... I, I'm to can I say oh. that I would sacrifice the Night King? <laughs> like, yeah, really <laughs> I thought that would solve, solve all our all problems. problems. <laughs> Let's sacrifice the Night King and bring back... Cat. I like to see her as Lady Stoneheart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We never get that in the show. See, mm -hmm. okay, my knee jerk reaction is to bring back Cal Drogo. But you mm -hmm. want to bring back Ramsey? I'll kill you. No. no. <laughs> I, I think I want to bring back Rob. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I was torn. I was torn between saying Rob, but like it, I'd go back to the beginning and get rid of Littlefinger and bring back Ned. Yes, like, absolutely. Right from the I was thinking that yeah. too. But like, I still feel like Ned wouldn't survive long enough. Like, he's so, he's like, dumb. he's not he going to survive dumb. in, like, this world, you know? No. So it's, it's kind of hard to kind of figure out. I almost feel like also bringing back Elena would be good too because it's just yeah. like, she could survive. She just got, like, that was an unreal kind of back into a corner thing. But, like, her and Oberyn would still do well in the world where Ned would, like, I thought, die, like, two weeks later. Mm -hmm. I thought Ned's death was interesting because he was part of the like rebellion rebellion yeah, and yeah. so he was a part of like all of that like backhandedness like, yeah. and yeah. like, yeah. like yeah. tricking people yeah. and getting back like, at people and did, killing and people and, and, and then he's like oh I'm honorable now yeah. and then he like goes and he like knows he's gonna die and he's like oh my daughters are coming in to die with me and stuff I feel like Littlefinger is a good pe person to kill right off the bat yeah. because mm -hmm. he started yeah. so much oh yeah the whole yeah. thing like, is it like, he wasn't he instrumental in Ned's death? In yeah. Ned's death. In everything. In, no, in the in, war. In the Lannister, yeah, like, starting war. And getting war. Kat to, like, arrest the yeah. Tyrion, which, would, like, led to he the killed, whole thing. Yeah. And, and he then, killed like, John Aaron, like, in yeah. the beginning. Like, they would have stopped so many issues if Littlefinger was just Which makes me goated. think that maybe Ned would have lived past two weeks into, like, maybe, like, four weeks. Like, <laughs> yeah. you never know. Littlefinger was there. Also, yeah. Barris and Selmy was a waste of a character, and I feel like he had more to do. So, yeah. I maybe bring back him. Do you know who that was? 
Oh yeah, he screwed things up for Daddy Jora. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't like him. <laughs> Number five, your person in the night's watch. Who would you break your oath of chastity for? Daddy Jora. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, honestly, out of all the dudes in the show, he's the first one I would go to. <laughs> Dario. <laughs> uh, call Drogo. <laughs> Mm. He's a close second. Marjorie. Yeah, I would say Marjorie. I almost said Yara. I'm but trying to Marjorie, think of a guy because I am straight. <laughs> <laughs> but Marjorie defies sexuality. I know. I know. <sighs> Rob Stark. Mm. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Number six Dragon or Dire Wolf? Which would you rather have by your side? Dire wolf. Dire wolf. Dragon? Dragon. <laughs> Dragon. 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 They're scared. I have Dire no. Wolf and he, I have and I no. Love the connection, the mental connection. Yeah, it's yeah. close. Oh, you do have a. Aww. Yeah, I've got Nook, so he's like like a baby direwolf, like portable size. And then I also want to drag it. I just want to like your cars. Yeah. How big are direwolves? So like the they're size huge. Like the size of a human, or maybe bigger they're... actually. Because they, I mean, like they actually existed. Like they went oh, really? extinct. Yeah. They were on Earth at some point. Um, a dire wolf? Wait, I don't know. Called dire wolves? Yeah, they're called dire wolves. They're, they recovered a bunch of their skeletons because of like tar pits. They're like what? the size of like bears. What? That's a massive wolf. Wow. Yeah, yeah, they were huge. I feel like they're loyal and dragons can sometimes. That's like even so Drogon cool. kind of had this little attitude problem. When he was they're a teenager? Cats. Yeah. Because they're, they're cats. Well, I'm a cat like, person, so that makes sense. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I like cats too, but I was like, they kind of attitude. Is that how they are in the series? They're like cats. They, they, they do act, act like yeah, cats. They Never mind. I just want a dire wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven. Which character would you most like to portray on television? Sansa. Would I like to be? Yeah. Oh. Sansa. Without a doubt. I don't even know. I want to be Danny. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be gone. like molested by your brother? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I don't, I can't explain my love for her. I just, there, oh, there are no words. But I also, like to, I would like to be Marjorie, too. Yeah. Because she's very uh, tough. No. But she's in with, yeah. Okay. Her life was not the greatest. No. I might say oh, Kat. I, would, I really liked Kat. I I, yeah, I would, I would Kat. like being like no. Lady of Winterfell. Mm -hmm. I yes. hope you good. I feel she like went out with I'll, I'll say Danny because I feel like I'm not <laughs> yeah, an actress, but I could do a better job than <laughs> <the other part. laughs> Number eight. What is your favorite moment of the books slash series? I still feel like the scene, like the scene in season three where Danny, after like three episodes of that guy talking shit, Absolutely. finally destroys him. And she's like, a dragon is not Right, slain. she's a dragon is not slain, Dracarys. And, like, and then the song, Ooh, like, that's like that. the first big, yeah. that's the first big scene yeah, where like the dragons epic. really own shit because that's when they're big enough. And I feel like that's still one of my favorite yeah, scenes. Really as far cool. as like, big action -y scenes. Like I love a lot of really small scenes with like characters talking to one another. Yeah. Um, like more recent scenes in the last episode, but like as far as big scenes, that's the one that I like get chills every time I watch it. You know, Danny's not really my favorite character, but like a scene that still stands out to me is in season one when Viserys like hits her and she picks up those chains and hits him back and she's like, I am the Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea. The next time you lay a hand on me, you will no longer have hands. And like, I just... That was like the turning point for her character, mm -hmm. like her character arc, and it just like still stands out. And also the exchange between Elena and Jamie when she yes. oh, yeah. that was really good. Uh, yeah. died. Like that was fantastic. One yeah. of the standout moments for me just happened uh, was when it was like the Lannister, Jamie and versus Danny and the mm. oh, Drogo, right. Drogon, Drogon mm -hmm. came and like wasted everybody. Like, I felt like I couldn't even, like, text. I couldn't look at anything. I was, like, glued to the television. And, of course, the Dothraki man. Right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. When the screamers, like, when yeah. the screamers came down and you heard them, yeah. it was, like, chills. Yeah. Yeah. You know, for, yeah. For so many seasons, there was such such lore about the Dothraki in mm -hmm. war. Yeah. And to finally see them and you're like, yeah. yo, yeah. reputation <laughs> earth. That shit sure. is scary. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Right
where they, the show had built up to the scene yeah. and it was a payoff yeah. for them. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, yeah that's that was it. And there was yeah. like no contest. No. Yeah. They had no chance. Yeah. And then when Jamie was like, these people are brutal. We'll never win against them. They kill for sport. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, they do. Yeah. <laughs> also, when this was like a, what was the question? <laughs> You I'm, I'm a little drunk. <laughs> We're preparing for another video on Jordan's <laughs> channel. <laughs> okay, this is like one of my favorite but heartbreaking scenes was when Oberyn died. Because since I binged it, I like knew about the Red Wedding. I knew Joffrey died. So those things I was expecting. But I was not expecting Oberyn's death. So that like completely shocked me as a watcher who knew most of the spoilers. So I really, really liked that scene because it shocked me so much. Mm -hmm. I yeah, think I told yeah. you you would love him. Yeah, you're like, you're gonna love him. And I'm like, ooh, I can't wait to get attached. And then, wow. <laughs> I think there were a few recent scenes that really stuck with me. And one was uh, the beginning of season seven when it's Arya and um, oh, yeah. wearing the face. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and, and yeah. just like, just as strong. soon as you see, what's his name? Um, the, Filch. Like, it's the, Filch. Like, oh, <laughs> Yeah. Wait, Argus is on the show? Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, freaking Argus. That squid. Yeah. And to see her exact her revenge because yeah. the Red Wedding was such another impactful scene. You're like, yeah. where that was going to stick with you. And to see it like come full circle yeah. at yeah. that point. Like, that was one moment that I was just like, hey. yeah. Yeah. Like, like, the whole like winter came for house. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was yeah. the best yeah. line. That was so good. <laughs> And then the yeah, other one was the reunion between Sansa and Jon Snow. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah like, the whole okay, girl. listen. You guys liked it differently. I liked, I liked it, it both ways. Because it was like finally Stark and Stark reuniting. Yes. And I liked that. They were brother and sister for so long. Yeah, and just the fact that it was like two Starks together again. That's yeah. all I wanted. Right. Yeah. That's all I wanted was two Starks I mean, together. I'll admit, Sansa or Sansa and John definitely had more chemistry yeah. than Danny and John. Yeah, which I think is the dumbest. Shit and like on when the they show. Re re when they reunited, I didn't see the ship until the scene like before the battle when they were arguing, and I was like, and she are they gonna hands? kiss now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've seen that like. The only scene that brought me to tears this season was when mm -hmm. Arya reunited with Nymeria. Oh yeah. I was yeah. like, yeah. and then she <laughs> was like tears. All right. Because yeah. I was just like. And then it was Which like, that's like not you, yeah, you don't belong here. She's like, I don't belong. Like mm -hmm. Touch me. Number nine. Who do you think deserves to sit on the Iron mm -hmm. Throne by the end of the series? Ah. Sansa. 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 Really? Sansa. Yeah. Johnny. I need to watch the show. Yeah. I'm gonna but say other people serious. have to be taken up before Sansa can get there. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like at this current level, she couldn't hold it. Mm -hmm. But right. I think that. At the end, I would want to see I'm her. I um, I don't know. Yeah. Go with out Sansa, of my favorite part about like the scene when they took down Littlefinger was when she's like, "I'm a slow learner." It's true, but I learn. But yeah, I learn. Mm -hmm. Oh, chills. Yeah, I rewound the Littlefinger death like seven times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm gonna say John and Danny together on the Iron Throne. Really nice I love you, Jordan. <laughs> she knows that the audience is It's like unabashedly. Like, you ship them. Yeah. Right? You want them. I want them together so bad. Because what is it? She's his aunt or yeah. something? Yeah. yeah. But like, John but and Jordan Sansa doesn't are care. I don't cousins. Care. cousins. It's a little less weird. <laughs> but, but, they were is raised it, is, it, is it less sister. weird? Yeah, because they're they raised, they're raised close, together. Yeah, Whereas like Danny yeah, and John were never yeah, raised they were close. together. They right, so I feel like related. that's less weird. Exactly. Sansa even apologized for how she treated them. They weren't close. They weren't close. Yeah. <laughs> Is Ghost still alive? Yeah. yeah. You know why? Thank God. Because we haven't seen him. <laughs> <laughs> they better bring Ghost back before the yeah. finale. He should have been really back numerous sad. times. Like, there's so many scenes that Ghost could have been there. They're all alive except for Lady. Like, like why wasn't Ghost? Really? Where was Ghost when the whole John? I'll keep reading. <laughs> Where was You're Ghost just concerned the about the dire world. John. What are you most looking forward to in the upcoming book slash season? Because there's only one left. Cersei's death. Yeah. yeah. She's still alive? <laughs> wow. She's pregnant now, apparently. Alive. Again? I don't, I don't think she's pregnant. With her twin? Know. Questionable. Yeah. yeah. But I think there's something. Again? 
There's something fishy going on with that. Oh, okay. oh, Jamie being a good person. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, here's what I want to happen. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Hair flip. I want the hound to come back to Winterfell because I want him and Sansa to get together. Ew. <laughs> I'm okay with Sansa. Sorry. No, because Sansa. they would be so really cute together. And if it's not the hound, it's going to be Podrick. Her and Patrick need to have scenes together and be cute and like get married and have little. Everyone cute is getting kids. disgusted by every word you're uttering. I just want her to have a good man. Patrick's a good man. You're gonna cry. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just passionate. I want my. I want Sansa to have someone who won't be abusive. Mm-hmm. And she's had two abusive husbands slash fiancés. Yeah. Not Tyrion wasn't abusive. But Joffrey. Joffrey, Joffrey, Joffrey was Beyonce. awful. Yeah. Oh yeah, he sucked. I really want Clegane Bowl to happen. I was going to say yeah. Clegane Bowl. I'm excited <laughs> I'm for really that excited too. for that. Like, yeah, I'm excited for like the White Walker stuff and whatever, but like that has been building up for so long. I don't even know if I'm excited for that. I am so here for it. Yeah. The White Walker is like my just... number one thing. I want okay. to know if there's like a colony of yeah. them. <laughs> I want to know if there's like hundreds of them. I want all the zombies and White Walkers. Yeah. And I want to see all of like, oh, what have they been doing for thousands of years up there. Yeah. I want to know. I'm also excited for more uh, ice dragon or white dragon. Yeah, dragon. I just want that to blue fire is awesome. Yeah. I just don't know how they're gonna wrap up the Great War. Yeah, they're not. Plus the <laughs> Iron Throne War in yeah. six episodes. It's gonna be. That they could, so they could be as long as two hours though like, per episode. Like before this season, I honestly thought that this season would wrap up the Throne Wars, mm-hmm. and then we would get the War for the Dead or whatever, whatever in the next season. Mm-hmm. So it's very frustrating that both are mm-hmm. still going on. Yeah, at the same time. Kind of yeah. Like, uh, I'm very excited to I don't see care who's on the throne at this point. Where the Starks are going to end up because they're my babies and I want them to win everything. Exactly. So that's like my one thing that I'm nice like. Nice Oh, and the reunion between nice Ari and John. Oh, Ari and John. Ari and John. I want to see ghosts before they Oh, yeah. they don't show ghosts. I would have I real problems. See what yeah. ghosts. Also, I want John to have some repercussions from being dead. I want yeah. him to have some yeah. powers, something yeah. Yeah. that came that. Because it was a such trope a, I love in books when a character dies. Yeah, and it was such a big deal that he died and came yeah, back. And then nothing while. happened to I just don't understand. Mm-hmm. Like, he should have they something going him. on. Yeah. They waste him. They do. Cause we here. <laughs> so I want to. I hope something comes <laughs> of that too. Yeah. All right, that's it for this tag, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you all soon with another one. Bye. 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 Bye.